whichever cell I select, both the column and the row is going to be automatically highlighted for me to help me better visualize the data that I am pointing on. As we can see, whenever I select a different cell, both the column and also the row is going to be automatically highlighted. And I can create this interactive tool in Excel using actually two different functions and the conditional formatting. So let's find out how can we create this automation in Excel that can really help us on a daily basis, step by step from scratch. Let's go. Let's get started with the functions that can retrieve the coordinates of a cell. And as the coordinates, I mean columns and rows. So the function that can help us is equal sign in any blank cell, equal sign, and then cell, double click in this function, one, two. This function can bring you back a information within this spreadsheet that we have. And I want to start with the row. So let me double click here, one, two, to select, and then enter. As we can see, I got as a result of the number three. But why is that? Because the last selection where my cell was is this selection right here, right? So this is the row, the third row, one, two, three, the third one. If I move my selection to a different position, maybe right here, I'm going to have a different coordinate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the row number eight. But how can I update the result? Because as we can see, it's not automatically updated for us. If you hit the F9 key, you can update the value. However, we are also going to see how to always keep the values updating automatically for us. Let's click in another cell, maybe this one right here. And now what is the coordinate? in let's say a row standpoint f9 key 17 okay so the first criteria is working now let's move on to the second one let's just tag this option row and then column as the column i want to do basically the same thing as before the cell function however this time i want to use the second option column one two and enter now i have the both coordinates that i need the column and the row if i hit the f9 key the values are going to be automatically updated to show me retrieve the current position of my selection, F9 key. Okay, now, as I said before, instead of manually every time hit the F9 key, we can save time in Excel. Therefore, we can use the developer tab. However, if you ain't got the developer tab into your Excel, you can go to the home tab and then in any blank space, you can right click and go to the customize the ribbon. Instead of using popular commands, you can choose main tabs and then you can go to developer, add, and OK. That's it. Now you already have the developer tab into your Excel. When you click in the developer, you can go to Visual Basic Tool. Within this option is where we're going to set the automatically update. Let me double click in the sheet, one, two, the, the sheet that I'm using, right? You can have as many sheets as you want. However, you need to select the one that you are using. And then in general, I want to click and change your worksheet. Within, in between the first row and the last one, the private sub and end sub, in the middle, I want to input the hit tab and then application point calculate. Double click one, two, and yeah, that's it. Just, just that. So it's so simple to create this automation. Now let me close this panel. And every time now I change the location of my cell, as we can see, the coordinates are going to be automatically updated for me, both the rows and the columns. Now we can move on to the last step, that is to use both of those criteria into our conditional formatting. And whenever my selection match with a row and a column, both the column and the row are going to be automatically highlighted for me. So let's select everything but the headers. You don't need to select the headers. But why don't I need to select the headers? Because if you don't want to apply the highlight into the title, you don't need to select the title. If you want to do so, you can select it, right? Anyway, I will not select the headers because I don't want to apply the highlight into my headers. Now I go to the Home tab and then Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Within these options, I want to stick with the last one, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Within this formula bar, now it's time to check all the rows. Let's start with the rows, right? All the rows that I have within this range that I selected and the range that match with our coordinate of the selection of the cell. Or I mean, let's say the number two that we have as the result. Whenever the result match with the row that we have within the selection, this specific row is going to be automatically highlighted for us. And to do it, I can use the equal sign and to enumerate all the rows that we have. Let's say 
uh, this is actually the second one. The first one is the header, but anyway, it's going to work. So the first one is the header, but it's not going to count because it's not in the range. So we once we start with the number two and then three and then four and the five and on and on. To enumerate this, those rows, we can use a different function in Excel that is called it row. The row function, if you input the row function, let's say in a cell that is in the, the seventh row is going to return the number seven. If you input the row function in the first cell of the spreadsheet is going to return the number one that corresponds to the first row. And this is how the row function works. It's very important to open and close parentheses because this is how a function in Excel works. And then every time those rows that we have in a range met with our coordinates. So equal sign, I want to highlight those cells. Now we can continue this function in two different manners. The first one, I can use the result that I have in the cell that is already telling me the coordinate of the row. Or I can, instead of using the result itself, I can use the function itself that is, let's say, underneath the result. Remember the function that we did? So yeah, I can use right now. So two different manners, ways to do it. You can choose the one that you like the most. I want to use the reference that I already have here in the result because I think it's easier. So whenever the coordinate is equal to the row in the range, it's going to be highlighted, format, and then view. I want you to stick with a yellow color because I think it's easier to see. OK and OK. Now, yeah, it's working. Whenever I click in a different row or in a different cell, the row that corresponding to this specific cell is going to be automatically highlighted for me. Now it's time to do the same thing, but using the columns. So let me select everything again. But this time, instead of using, let's say, the reference that I have in the cell, I want to use the function itself. One, two, I want to use this function right here to match with the first portion of the formula, right? Column is equal to this function right here. I can manually input this function or Right click and then cope. I think it's easier, right? Let me select everything again, uh, but the headers and go to the home tab, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now, whenever equal sign a column within my selection is equal to the coordinate, I just paste here what I did select before and then format, I want to use again the same yellow color. Okay. And before I forget it, it's very important to open and close parentheses just after the first function okay equal sign colon open and close parentheses because all excel functions require a open and close parentheses right uh okay and yeah that's it it's working whichever cell i select now is going to highlight both the column and the row so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to automatically highlight values in a excel spreadsheet if you have any questions or any suggestions let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.